What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about eating and tracking your macros if it fits your macros. This one's going to be one of the most popular ones and it's my favorite one to do when I'm not in a hurry to change my body composition or I'm just trying to maintain the current level that I'm at. Now, if you want to lose weight and you want to lose fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. So there's going to be a certain amount of restriction to the total calories that you're eating per day. It's got to be less than the total calories that you're putting out. We'll get more to that in a video next week. But as long as you're eating adequate amounts of protein, carbs, fats, and fiber, you're going to feel good and you're going to burn fat. There are no, On this diet, there's no restricted foods. There are no bad foods. There are no evil foods. You can literally eat anything that you want. If you want to have pizza for breakfast and McDonald's for dinner, you absolutely can and you can still burn fat as long as you hit your numbers. Carbs are sugar. 100 grams of carbs from spinach is going to break down into the exact same thing as 100 grams of carbs from a Snickers bar. That's a fact. If you want to get into the micronutrients and the health benefits and the energy efficiency, it's whatever. But those carbs are ultimately going to break down into the exact same thing. So you don't have to worry about if you're going to have this cupcake or if you just have to eat that salad. All you have to worry about is if it fits your total macros. This gives you a lot of freedom in your choices and you stick with it consistently, you're going to get to a result. There's no doubt about it. I've made a video about the best students who get the best results. They're the most consistent and they take the best notes. This is one of those diets that's going to prove that to be true also. You have to stick with it consistently. And you have to do a really good job of tracking what you're eating so that you know you're hitting those numbers. Now, adequate amounts of protein, carbs, fats, and fiber is going to be super important. It's not just a caloric restriction or a caloric deficit that's going to make you successful, particularly on this diet. And it comes from the side effects of just tracking calories and not tracking protein, carbs, and fats. If you go too low in any one of those elements, there's going to be different side effects that come with it that will make it uh, adverse health effects, but also not sustainable long term for a bunch of different reasons that we won't get into in this particular video. But you can post questions and comments, and I will make a video next week about how to do this and what kind of problems you run into. But if you go to, and people know this because you are asking me about sugar addiction, if you hit your calories but you go too low in carbs, and you don't make up for it somewhere else, you're going to get headaches, you're going to get mood swings. If you hit your calories, but it's mostly in carbs and fat, and you're not getting enough protein, there's going to be a whole bunch of different impacts, particularly on your muscle mass, your performance, your metabolism. And same thing if you cut your calories down, but you go too low in fat. So here's an example of what my macros would be right now for fat loss. 2,000 calories a day, 215 grams of carbs, 150 grams or 153 grams of protein, and 55 grams of fat. That's because my maintenance level is going to be somewhere between 22 and 2400 calories a day, all the way up to 260 to 280 grams of carbs, and up to 65 or 70 grams of fat. As long as I'm hitting close to these numbers or these numbers consistently and tracking what I'm doing, I'm going to burn fat. It's what I did from September to December, right after we had William, to drop those initial 17, 18 pounds. I did it pretty quickly with limited exercise, but I was consistent and I tracked it the entire time. We'll get into the science of, of fat loss and breaking down protein, carbs, and fats, but if it fits your macros, it gives you a ton of freedom. For breakfast, I would like to eat uh, one piece of bread, toast, and then a whole bunch of eggs, so I'd get fat and a a lot of protein. Then for lunch, I'd do something that was really, really, really protein heavy again. So that at dinner, I had like 150 carbs left over and I had a ton of freedom. So dinner, I looked forward to it every day. Sometimes I got hungry, but I was able to manipulate my macros throughout the day so that I could fit that. If you know you're going out to a dinner and you're going to have uh, fried food and you're going to go out for drinks, then you can adjust what you're doing in the morning to fit those into your macros and still lose weight. If you love Chipotle like I do, you can fit it into your macros and still lose weight. You know, you have a date on Friday night, you're going to drink a lot of wine, track it ahead of time, adjust what you're doing for breakfast and lunch so that you can hit it. If breakfast is your favorite meal and you want to get all your carbs then, good, go ahead and do it. As long as it fits your macros, you get those freedoms. Pizza, french fries, burgers, mozzarella sticks, candy bars, chocolate, pudding, sugar, whatever you want, it will still be allowed on this diet and still allow you to burn fat and feel good and have a ton of energy. But again, consistency and tracking and bringing those things to the coaches, posting in the, in the Facebook group so that we can answer your questions and help you get with this. If it fits your macros, it's going to be crazy popular. It's unbelievably effective. I believe it's what uh, your boy Clint did to get so strong and so shredded recently. So if it worked for him, it's probably going to work for all of us. We all want to be like Clinton. Do the work.